Welcome back, students. Students, this is quite interesting and exciting because I am. Um, I have attempted this problem twice now, and I need to think about my my how competent my strategy is. Strategic competence is an important part of solving. So, the method I've been using up to now hasn't worked, which I'll quickly summarize. Uh, I need to use these numbers and plus or minuses to work out the slopes, but the slopes can be changed. Okay, the points can be moved about. Um, and they're not independent because B occurs in both of these ones on the left and A occurs in both of them on the right and the assumption is that AD steps across only one column because it's an integer. Okay, so the kind of the wild cards the only wild card we can do what we want with A and we, we sorry we can't A is at three different locations B occurs twice and D is the most free and B and C are kind of occurring twice so D is the only one that I can kind of leave it right out to the end and put it anywhere I want so let's park that now, or, or maybe I should use it, but let's park that up there and say we're not touching D until the very end. Okay. And its relative position to A will be important. So maybe let's take an extreme value like 9 and just start with that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight and nine. Okay, and that's correct. But whether I'll be able to hold on to that is another thing. Now it's very easy to. I mean, I could randomly just put B and C somewhere, and then C. Can I see how I got all the num the numbers along here that I need? You see, I've used up nine now. So at the moment, what well, B is. Let's let's just throw in five. See what happens. So B needs to be five away. One, two, three, four, five, and four away. That way. Okay. So two of them are correct. Now from B to C, let's make it two and three. I probably have to revisit this. So that would be up two, up three. Now my problem is do I have the right numbers now to make A to C? So I need to go up one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. Well, we have that. I need to come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which I can't do because I don't have a seven. I could come out six. Now that'll be right. Now this is wrong. to connect them don't I at the moment what B to C it's one so I'll go one over one that's gonna happen if I move B this goes wrong yeah this goes wrong let's just move it should I and by moving B these are both gonna get upset say the left but only the left and I've got the numbers, so this is really where I need to take out a, bo a, 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 a whiteboard and start working. So I'm going to drop in. I don't have a pen connected to this, so I can. Where do I put a pen here? I can. Okay, so let's just use the built in pen, even though I'm using a mouse only. Let's do that anyway. So let's say I have the numbers. Well, I can see them. I don't need to do it that way. Let's see them here. I've got those numbers and this number. And I'm prepared to move B around. Oh, I've got, where did I put it? Okay, hang on. Okay, I just put it there. Yeah, I seem to have solved it, but I can't see where B is.
Where did it go? Seems to be a glitch. <laughs> Clearly we are on a very difficult problem. I'm going to post it because you've seen lots of my attempts at problem solving, which is maths. No success, ultimate success, but it's still a lot learned. 